should be happy. Hey, stay, hey, Mark. By my right. Wait, no, hey. no, 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 no. We got that fight coming up. You gotta beat it, bro. The feud between Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather has escalated to a whole new level. When the two crossed paths at a recent event, things quickly took a volatile turn. From the moment Mayweather walked by Davis, the air was thick with tension, signaling an inevitable showdown. What followed was every bit as intense as expected, culminating in a charged moment that kept everyone on edge. Get ready, because what happened next was nothing short of electrifying. It didn't take long for Gervonta Davis to start running his mouth. That's just how he operates. For months, he's been throwing jabs at Floyd Mayweather on social media, even going as far as claiming he'd knock Floyd out if they ever met face to face. Davis made one thing clear. It was on sight. But did he back up his bold words? Tank did swing, but he missed. No shock there. Mayweather's legendary defense was still sharp. Floyd effortlessly dodged Tank's punch and countered with a clean shot of his own. For the first time in his career, Davis felt the unfamiliar sting of being knocked down, a rare experience for a fighter known for dismantling his opponents. Without security's intervention, Davis might have found himself in the hospital. But let's take a step back. Davis and Mayweather weren't always at odds. Once, they shared a bond as tight as mentor and protégé. Mayweather played a crucial role in shaping Davis into the force he is today. Yet, like many relationships in boxing, things eventually soured. Tank has been vocal about his frustrations, accusing Floyd of failing to support him, holding him back, and never truly being in his corner. Floyd, on the other hand, believes Davis wouldn't have reached the heights of success without his guidance, and feels Tank should remember who helped put him on the map instead of throwing shade. Floyd has a valid point. Davis has been on the offensive, going after him relentlessly, often without any clear provocation. It's become almost routine. On any given day, you might catch Gervonta Davis tweeting something like this, music plays. Their latest clash felt like a sequel to the drama that went down in Dubai. If you're not up to speed on the wild confrontation between Floyd and Tank at the Dubai airport, buckle up, because we're about to break it down. Mayweather had been enjoying the sun and luxury of Dubai, but just as he was preparing to fly back to the States, the situation took an unexpected turn at the airport. Relaxed and ready to head home, Floyd suddenly spotted Tank Davis. And if you think that's crazy, what happened next was even more shocking. Tank swung at Floyd, a vicious left hook the same one that ended Frank Martin's career. Before anyone could intervene, heated words flew, and things quickly got physical. Security rushed in, and the scene descended into chaos. Fans were left stunned to witness these former allies going at it, but the tension had clearly been building for some time. What should have been a peaceful Dubai getaway for Floyd turned into anything but. My thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan. And my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful. Constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Just when it seemed like the drama had cooled down, Gervonta Davis delivered the ultimate twist. Tank went after Mayweather again, and this time things got even messier. The two crossed paths at yet another major event, and cows erupted once more. But this time, karma struck Tank hard as his move backfired. It all began with Floyd trying to keep his cool in the spotlight when Davis approached him, clearly ready for round two. But Mayweather was more than ready. He effortlessly dodged Tank's punch and made sure Davis felt the consequences. This latest scuffle proves that the feud between Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather is far from over. Fans are already buzzing with speculation about when the next showdown will happen, whether inside the ring or outside of it. The rivalry has always been intense, and Tank has long sought a chance to face Floyd in the ring. Lucky for boxing fans, this mega fight is on the horizon, with Tank dropping hints that it's set for this September. Yes, 
You heard that right. Hey man, I'm right here in Dubai. Go Tanner Star, Luxury Rentals. Check them out. When you come to Dubai, top flight, follow me. We got everything. McLaren in different colors. Ferraris, Lambos, whatever you want. Rolls Royce, Bugatti, whatever you want. When you come to Dubai, it's the place to be. Check it out. Crazy colors. Come on, man. Live flashy like Floyd Mayweather. Rotana style. Whatever you want, they got Rotana style. Floyd Mayweather is deep into training for the highly anticipated mega fight, but there's a major twist in his preparation. He's now training with Shaker Stevenson. That's right. Two of boxing's finest are joining forces. This partnership isn't just about getting in shape. It's a calculated, strategic move that signals serious intent. Mayweather, legendary for his flawless defense and sharp ring IQ, is bringing a wealth of experience to the table. Meanwhile, Stevenson, a rising star with incredible technique and a keen tactical mind, injects a fresh energy into the training camp. Together, they form a lethal combination of old-school expertise and modern brilliance. This collaboration isn't just about preparation. It's about plotting the perfect strategy to dismantle Gervonta Tank Davis. With both Mayweather's veteran knowledge and Stevenson's cutting-edge skills, they're likely crafting a game plan that thoroughly examines every element of Tank's fighting style, then pointing his strengths and exposing his weaknesses. The partnership hints that they're focused on finding ways to neutralize Tank's power and exploit his vulnerabilities. This high-profile alliance adds a new layer of excitement and intrigue to the upcoming bout. As Mayweather and Stevenson fine-tune their approach, boxing fans can only speculate about the innovative tactics they'll unleash and how Tank will counter. With the stakes higher than ever, this dynamic duo's preparation promises to set the stage for an epic showdown filled with strategy, skill, and electrifying moments. Seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but... There's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. September. No. Yeah, bro. Tia Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. That's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss our upcoming content. Share your thoughts in the comments section and stay tuned. We'll catch you in the next video.